Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 39, and uh, today we're finally going to the Nightmare of Mensis, the final area of the base game. I'm going to try and clear this first part of it um, as much as I can. And then in the next episode, to finish it off, um, I'm going to do a whole story recap. Got my notes. I've also got the lead elixirs because this area is uh, going to be with Frenzy. And um, let's get our highest Frenzy resist. Is it the Hunter Garb? I think it is. I wanted to wear this, but... I'll leave that hat on because it looks pretty cool, blinding my eyes, but... Right here, we're going to take a little slow. would stop, but, uh, maybe it's the other ones? Well, that's a bad sign for this episode. Dang it. Let's try that again. Um, I usually actually run past all this because of the frenzy, but, uh, That's what I want to use. The sedatives, not the... And yes, you can get invaded here. There's this giant eye that's, uh... Should be in the clear from uh, that right there. Let's go behind this guy. There is a bell ringing woman here. dropping anything. Oh well. Heal up. 
Go this way. Get this item. Get more bloodstone chunks, which I need to preserve. Because I want to get the whirly gig saw, man. Time for nightmares, therefore nothing but nightmares is here. That's very true. Uh, we're going to be fighting a whole bunch of spiders here, so yay. Look at the eyeballs, man. Ah, oh, this area. That's not what I wanted to do. I was trying to shoot them down one by one. I thought you were dead. Sir, good job. Hope I don't get invaded here. way first. See all those spiders coming down. God, the bell is annoying. And man's knowledge. Seems like she's close. We get the Shaman Bone Blade, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But here's an NPC that we gotta beat. Um, dude, the Shaman Bone Blade is... Awesome. Then you hear the baby crying. Sedatives. This is freaky, because we're going to see a whole bunch of alien baby, or alien people walking around here. Nightmare Mensis is freaking terrifying and weird. We get the yellow backbone, which I think we've already gotten before, but we'll... Yes, we have. Child Dungeon Ritual item. Alien person. Hmm. 
Let's go this way. Get the elevator first. Scourge of the infants. Don't be fooled. So this brings us out here. Which is... Got a lamp. Which is very important. This is going to be our main uh, shortcut. Hold down. And we get the eye rune. Excuse me. Keep going this way. Black should be at the beginning. Yep. This is the beginning. Of the area. I'll go back. Just wanted to show you. Ah! Oh, Frenzy got me? Frenzy got me. How did I get frenzied, though? Huh. I think I have to look at the footage. It didn't say I was frenzied. Um. Okay, I'll um, beat this guy, I guess. This place drains right there your health. And the one this far. Man, that's rough. Um let's go back to the hunter's dream real quick. Spend these blood echoes. Um, getting my arcane up is nice. I'm going to be using some other, maybe, arcane, uh, spells. Alright, we got it to 20. I think we need it to 25 to use all the arcane spells, but we'll see. Um, actually, let's buy some blood vials, because I used a ton. Wow. <laughs> So this is called Murgo's Loft. So Murgo is, and you'll see because the final boss in this area is called Murgo's Wet Nurse. Murgo is uh, Yarnum, the Thumeri Queen's child. We'll get that later. Whom got kidnapped? And is he being trying to be used as a ritual to summon the old ones, and which is why Yarnum, the Thumeri Queen, Place the curse on this land. These guys, I should leave them alone because they won't really do anything, but. Beast blood pilot we get here. This is 
freaky area. And it's incredibly important. Don't push me. This way. All the eyes in the bookshelves, man. This is... nuts. More blue elixirs. Make me invisible. Dirty, damp blood gem. And man's knowledge. We'll see if that's a good blood gem. Would love it to be. Trample all over books here. This is a very important area that we're going to come back to later. Nice, another one. Um, yeah. This is a really important area. And it's so cool what we're going to get to do here later. Oh, cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait to make contact. Intent. More lead elixirs, and we're done here. So now, going to go up. Now things get freaking creepy and crazy. You hear that? It's gonna be birds with dog heads. Because we are in a nightmare. It's so crazy, look at them. Crows with dog heads now. Get that blood gem. Excuse me. Boss that way. Elevator shortcut this way. Puts us right by the lamp. Or go do that. <clears throat> Ugh. Wonderful we'll getting invasion this evening. There's gonna be another elevator. But before we go there. Go this way. 
Now that is a dog with a crow head. More bloodstone chunks. Kin cold blood. Of course we get that here. All right. So I think we're ready to take on... This is basically the first part of Nightmare Immensus done. Now we're going to take on... Here, the baby crying. Mikalash. This is the coolest boss. I think this is one of the coolest bosses in this game. And it's a puzzle boss. We got corner him in the room. And then uh, we can wail on him. Don't even bother fighting down a little bit. I don't know what the hell I'm doing because these guys come back to life. That scene? Yeah. Ah, Cos. This guy's voice actor is incredible. Some say Cos. Cos. Should not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. He's wearing student attires. <laughs> and that's his cage on his head. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you. And he said cause, who which is the great one. So we're gonna go up this way. Is that the way I came from? It was. There he is. Well, that was easy. And he can do that. These guys get in the way. <laughs> oh, majestic! Don't worry about the items. We gotta go to the second level. Alas, a hunter is a hunter lost. even in the dream. Pay attention to his dialogue. We can come back and get the rest of the items later. And now let's fight. Don't 
won't let him get a call beyond. That's how you beat him. I'll forget everything. Get the Mensis Cage. is raised for us to continue on. Oh, you best believe it is a cage head. the student uniform. The school of Mensis controls the unseen village. The hexagonal iron cage suggests their strange ways. The cage is a device that restrains the will of the self allowing one to see the profane world for what it is. It's also as it, uh, serves as an antenna, an antenna that facilitates contact with the great ones of the dream. But to an observer, the iron cage appears to be precisely what delivered them from the harrowing nightmare. I think that tells you all it needs to tell you. That is used to make contact with the Great Ones of the Dream. Let's go this way, let's go up, up. Find the bridge. This. Perfect. Now we're going to be able to continue on. We'll go back to the dream. And we'll finish up the second part of the Nightmare of Mensis. Um, so the School of Mensis, it makes sense that the School of Mensis controls the Unseen Village. You see the cages everywhere. You see Amygdala everywhere. Um, you see the fingerprints of the School of Mensis everywhere in the Unseen Village. So... I was very well. I think we've got 20. I think I just want to do one more into that, and then we'll work on Farewell, good the others later. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. And we'll finish up the Nightmare of Mensis. Take care.